today's a special day. Do you want to know why? We're going to Tofino, baby! Here's the thing, though. I was planning to shoot a video for you guys on the thyroid tests you need to get and where to get them, and I'm still gonna do that. But now I'm gonna bring you along with me to Tofino. I'm Melissa, nutritionist with a background in Chinese medicine. I'm also known as the hormone and poop whisperer. Not long ago, me and my husband made the decision to leave the city life, drive across the country, and live in a 25-foot tiny home on wheels with our two dogs, Bodie and Pickles. But this life hasn't been without its challenges. I suspect that we have a leak. Here, you'll get a raw and unfiltered look of my life along with how I and you can love our hormones throughout life's ups and downs here on Melissa Unplugged. Are you ready? If so, let's do this. Get out. <laughs> do you have anything to say to us? I... To our guests who are coming with us to Tofino? I don't know what this is for. This, these are our guests. This trailer's not big enough for all of us, so you guys have a good time at Tofino. I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna build a fort, and I'm gonna stay here. Oh, and you guys are gonna wanna stay until the end because you're gonna learn a ton, you're gonna become an advocate for your own health, and, well, you'll be able to come on an adventure with us. You're chipping in for gas. Yeah, you have to chip in for gas. And listen, I get that maybe you don't wanna come to Tofino with us. Maybe you just want all the info about thyroid testing pronto. All good, don't sweat it. You can grab my free thyroid 411 guide by clicking the link in the comments. Oh, and side note, that guide also contains the resources on where to get those labs in case you're getting pushback from your doctor. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure that you smash that little bell button. That way you get notified every single time a new video launches every Wednesday. Hey, can you believe that I haven't even actually unpacked all this stuff from Victoria? It's still in my bag. Oh, amazing. You see, we're still not unpacking shit from our honeymoon. <laughs> Put this in the laundry. Okay, so why on earth do you need to get thyroid testing done? Because chances are you've probably been told that your thyroid tests are normal, right? Chances are your doctor is probably only testing TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone. And this helps us to assess how your brain is communicating to your thyroid. But the problem is this is not enough to give us the full picture. And this is where so many women go undiagnosed and fall through the cracks. Not to mention the lab ranges that they read them in are so freaking broad that by the time that you're outside of these ranges, your issue probably has gone chronic. So the earlier that we can catch things, the better. All right, I'm gonna grab that butter. We read lab results based on functional ranges, which are narrow and are the ranges your body needs to function in. This is where we can pick up issues and have a better chance at reversing them. I've actually listed what those ranges are in my guide, so make sure to grab it. But I know. I've been working on that shit. That's called squats, baby. Listen, the majority of women who have hypothyroidism also have Hashimoto's, which is the autoimmune condition that I have. But I never would have actually known that had I only had my TSH levels tested. So since Hashimoto's is a deeply rooted in the gut, I like to have my shit handled, which is the reason why that I'm bringing my instant pot. Oh yeah. Did you think that I was crazy when I told you to bring the instant pot last time? Uh, oh, just for the Instant Pot. Oh, that's, yeah, no, that's, I thought it was a little much. I thought you were crazy for many other reason, but I thought it was a little much in the beginning, but then I actually can appreciate why we have it. So, us being the way we are. I don't know why you do that when I'm on your side. You, ha, ah, proves you right. I'm like, you were already right, but whatever. Pat yourself. You gotta get you an extra arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I know that this seems like a lot of work, but I actually do go out, maybe not so much now with the vid, but we also do what? Oh, we pack the dog's food. We're so nuts for these boys who have no idea how good they have it, but they we even bought a special cooler for them, and when we drove across Canada, we packed, I don't know how many it was, like 60 pounds? I don't remember how much it was. It was enough that got us across Canada in 10 days, uh, packed with dry ice and, and all of this. Like, I hope to come back as, and, somebody owning me who liked them. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. So Melissa, mm -hmm. oh, the question that is on everyone's mind and lips, the world wants to know, 
If we have TSH, what else would we need to get tested? So we need, we have TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone. We also need to get tested free T4. We need to get tested free T3. And then we also need to get tested reverse T3. That way we know how our body's responding, how our thyroid's responding. That's what we have to get tested. Now say that five times fast. Outhouses. Or those bath they're disgusting. That's a portalette. It's not that bad. Oh my god, I just looked down. That was disgusting. Listen, it, was, it was mildly full, yes. Yes. If her bum was not any tighter, it could wobble in the water a bit. Like it was full. It was full, I'm not gonna lie. But it's really, no, but princess, it's really not that bad. It's really not. Like, there's poo snakes in there. There's no, <laughs> I don't know if we've ever discussed it. She told me, she actually said she believed it. Poo snakes. She doesn't like outhouses because she looks down and believes there are snakes. Like, really? We, really? Oh, you have to hover. On that, you have to hover. Who's I wouldn't there? touch it. Would this you actually like... put your bum on the... Mm, or do you do the layers? Or do you do the layers with the twist? Because <laughs> I've done My that. My mom does that. So there's a rumor going around. This feels like it's gonna be bad. What? Is that what we teach people? Is that the way we walk into things? No, no, it's not. But we're curious. Mm. There's a rumor going around that you might be a little bit of a control freak. No! What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, so I like to drive. Is it because I'm not a good driver? No, you drove across country. And so what does that say? With a trailer. So you like to drive and you take control until there's about 4,000 pounds behind us and any mistake could cause grave harm and then you leave it to me, the person who hasn't been allowed to drive the entire point of our relationship. Sorry? Stretched our legs and now we are back to keep going and get is a thyroid hormone and 80% of it is inactive and it converts itself into T3. So in cases of hypothyroidism like myself, that T3 is gonna be low. Okay, so when I see reverse T3 and it's over 15, that's a really telltale sign that there is some level of stress, whether it's environmental, food stress, gut distress, even mental stress, heavy metals, mold toxicity, different kinds of stressors, that's key. You can get something a little more comfy. No, that's exactly what I was thinking. That was, <laughs> that was quick. Isn't sexy enough for you? You know I want that sweater.
last two thyroid markers to get tested are your thyroid antibody. So that's your thyroglobulin antibody and also your thyroid peroxidase antibodies. If these come back elevated, well, then there's a good chance that you have Hashimoto's, an autoimmune- Hashi what? You got that right, babe. Hashimoto's, an autoimmune thyroid condition. Symptoms of low thyroid are hair loss, depression, weight gain, fatigue and brain fog, intolerance to cold, constipation, heavy or irregular menses, and infertility. But remember guys, all thyroid conditions ain't nothing but a symptom, so it's super important to be able to evaluate what's causing these numbers to go out of whack to begin with. Various causative factors include gut dysfunction, mold or heavy metal toxicity, and even stress. We have been trying to find this access to Chesterman Beach, and I think we did pretty good finding it on the road. Yeah, it was the first left we made, so yeah, we did well. <laughs> but check this out, guys. Look, you can walk to the island. The beach is that long. Literally, people are just walking to the island. That is so cool. from gorgeous Tofino. If you want to make sure that you get a full rundown of those labs that you need to get, their functional ranges, plus more importantly, where the heck to get them if your doctor is giving you pushback, you're going to want to make sure that you grab my free thyroid 411 guide now by clicking the link in the comments. And if you dug this video, do me a favor, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to tag a friend and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And as I run after my husband, what should they do? They should subscribe. Subscribe, smash buttons, like everything. I don't care what it is, just like it. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. She's still going. Shake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get you a bowl.